In this video, we will see how we can create a wheel file. This wheel file is mainly used to package all your code and we can easily use this package in any other code. The other advantage of having this wheel file is we can easily share our code to other team members and also we can easily share this uh, wheel file in, into the cloud also. Let us see how we can create a wheel file. So before going to the wheel file, let us see why we need this wheel file. So the process of packaging and distributing the Python code across the cloud is very complex task. This problem can be solved by creating a wheel file and share this binary file securely. So that is the main advantage of having this wheel file. We can share our code to other team members or to the cloud or, or in a securely way. And the size of the binary wheel file is very small compared to the original code. The Python wheel file has extension .whl which consists of Python version and the platform the wheel file supports. The benefits of packaging the Python code wheel file is smaller size. So these are the advantages of having wheel file. Uh, let us see how we can create this wheel file. So for this wheel file, let us see the installation process. So we need Python, then pip, followed by we need two more libraries, one is setup tools, other one is wheel. So once we have this libraries installed, then we are good to create a wheel file. So setup tools and wheel can be created, uh, can be installed using this soft command pip install setup tools and pip install wheel. So once you have these two libraries installed, then we are good to create a wheel file. So next is creation of setup file. So we need to create a setup file with this name setup.py and we should have a content that shown in this uh, slide. The first one is we need to import setup tools. So for this reason only we have uh, installed this library setup tools. So the first command is import setup tools. Next we are going to read read file. So this file just give, uh, give you the long description. So you can give, uh, you can create an empty file or it is kind of optional. You can either create a, create a readme file or you can ignore this file. But if you want to give a long description, you can give, a, you can create a readme file and you can uh, read that file and provide that in the long descriptions. Followed by you have to create this setup tools dot setup. So this is the main thing for creating a wheel file. First one is give, you need to give a package name that is name equal to the package name. Next is the version. So the, for example, the initial version you can give it as 0 0.0.1. Then if there is any change to that library, you can add a new version to this one. Then you can provide the author, then the author email, then the description, the long description, long description content type. So these are like kind of uh, some uh, information you want to give for this package. Next is the package equal to, uh, next one is the package is equal to setup tools dot find packages. So when you have this, uh, when you have this command, so it's going to look for all the directories and subdirectory which has init file and, con and uh, convert all those modules into a so on one uh, single importable uh, uh, command. Let's see that uh, in the uh, uh, demo how we can uh, how we can set up this one. So these are the main things you need to uh, mention in the setup file. Uh, next, move on to the readme file. So just this provide a long description. You can give any uh, description you want in this file just uh, plain text you can give here and you can uh, read that in that uh, uh, long description and you can pass that to the uh, wheel file. Next one is creation of init file. Uh, this file provides a mechanism for you to group the separate python models into a single importable module. That is why it is called you can in all the subfolders and uh, subfolders and uh, uh, the main folders you can have you should keep this init, init uh, script. So this will uh, uh, group all the separate uh, python code into a single importable modules. So the file name should be underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py py. So you have to keep this file in all the folders subfolders. Next the find packages. This approach automatically finds out all directories. Those must contain a file name init underscore dot py. It can be empty also. Next one is to in order to create a wheel file, we have to execute this command python setup dot py b dist underscore wheel. So when you execute this command, your python file will be created in a uh, folder called test. Let us see that in a demo this folder. I have a user package. So whatever the code I want to convert into package, I have kept inside this user package folder. If I go inside this folder, you will find two subfolders, folder 1 and folder 2. And if you go into folder 1, so it has this file underscore 1. This is my python file which has the function. So if you open this uh, file, you will find function of 1 function once executed successfully. So this is the function I kept in this python folder and also you have a init file underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot py. 
So, you have every folder subfolder you have this init init file and this file is the actual python file. So, if you go into the next folder folder 2 again in folder 2 I have file called file underscore 2 and it has a function function of underscore 2 and it uh, says print function 2 put successfully I am printing this uh, statement. Similarly, in folder 2 also we have this init file. So, every folders or subfolder should have this init file. So, and that is I have init folder uh, init file in this folder also. So, so once you have this init file, it's going to consider all the folders subfolders into a single executable module. So, you can have a number of folders based on your requirements. You can have a number of folders, and every folder should have this init file, so that you can more modelize your code and you can effectively use your code in the uh, in your codes. So, this user package will have all your code which you want to convert into packages. You kept everything inside this user package folder. And outside this user package folder, you have to keep this setup file as well as readme file. So, these two files are mainly used to create this real file. So, we are going to keep this outside this uh, our uh, user package uh, folder. The user package folder will have all the codes which you want to convert into real file. So, outside this package, uh, outside this folder, we have this setup file and readme file. The setup file as you shown in the slide, we have we have kept all the commands here, the import setup tools, all this readme file everything here. So, we have to execute this command. Now, I quickly open this command prompt. So, right now I am in this path public. So, I will go into this wheel folder v underscore package. So, right now I am inside this uh, right now I am inside this folder. Let me quickly see the python version here. So, I can give python version so, right now I am using python 3.10.5. So, you need this python version. Just simply check the pip version as well. Pip version is showing us uh, 22.0.4. So, these are the uh, I have both uh, python as well as pip. Next, I need to see I need to install setup tools as well as wheel. I'll just quickly show if I have any. Uh, setup tools uh, installed in my uh, uh, in my machine you could see i have already installed setup tools as well as wheel you can uh, install this using pip install setup tools so form is already installed so that's it showing you warning message so it's already available so it's showing recommend already satisfied because i already have the setup tools Similarly, okay, if I install install wheel, so it's saying that we already available here, already satisfied. So I have already available. I have this wheel file as well as the uh, setup tools file. So once this is both things, both these files available, then I need to run this command, right? Uh, the command is so once it is uh, installed then we are good to create a wheel file the command we know is python um, uh, setup dot py b and that command is b dist underscore wheel b dist underscore wheel Once you see, once you create enter, you will find all these commands here. You will find all these uh, commands here, like uh, adding edit underscore pi, all those things you will find here. And now, if, if you go into folder, you will see that uh, dist folder here. You will find the dist folder, and if you go inside, you will find this. Uh, the wheel file here. So, this is the wheel file which were created, and we can use this wheel file to uh, uh, import in other other Python uh, uh, Python uh, file, or you can easily import this to a cloud. So, now we have the wheel file, we can see how we can utilize this wheel file. So, once this wheel file is ready, we have to use this, we have to install this wheel file so that we can import this as a library. So, for that what I do is 
I am going to put, put, uh, put pip install. I need to install this one. This is under dist folder, so I am going to give it dist slash. Then I need to copy this entire uh, file name here. I am going to copy the entire file name here and I am going to install in this. I given uh, pip install dist slash then the wheel file. Once you click enter, you will file this is installed. The user package is installed now. So, here we list, I mean, pip list, you will find that library installed here. You will find this user package installed here, right. So, now the user file is installed. Let me reutilize this package and see how we can uh, use this package in another Python code. So, in the in public i have another folder called demo1 here i have main i have python class uh, python file here main if i go into this main you will find uh, the python you have this uh, comments here i have import command from user package dot folder import file because i have inside the folder i have this file one similar in the folder two i have the file two so user package dot folder one import file one from user package dot folder to import file to then I am uh, using this uh, I am just referring to the function function 1 and uh, function 1 and file 1 and in file 2 function 2 so I am going to execute this command let us see how it is going to give me the output so right now I mean uh, this I will just go back to one level so cd demo 1 I am going to run this python code python main dot py if you see here when I execute this main command it is showing us function to execute successfully function to execute successfully because in the and inside this uh, folder one we have the file one and in the file we have function one that says function will execute successfully if you go inside this one public if you see the wheel package inside this uh, user package uh, sorry inside this user package folder 1 file 1 it says function will execute successfully similarly in folder 2 similarly in folder 2 the file 2 which is function to execute successfully so i have utilized this packages i have converted this into package and we have used this in a different python file here demo1 i have the main file i am importing this package here from uh, from user package import the file1 and i am using this function from those files file1 file2 here that is why you executed here you could see the output as function of successfully execute successfully so in this way you can create a easily a wheel file and you can uh, um, uh, import that uh, wheel file into a different python code and re uh, reuse them and like instead of sharing the entire code we can uh, share this uh, binary file the wheel file which is uh, size was very small so in that way uh, we can share it uh, to our team members like our entire code that's pretty much for this video and thanks for watching